Hi friends. This video will show you how to fix Adobe Photoshop CC 2020 not opening, responding or working in Windows 10. Adobe Photoshop is a big, resource-heavy app. Sometimes, it can slow to a crawl or, even worse, crash. If you're having problems, there are some simple steps you can take to get it working again. Here's what to do to fix Photoshop. Fix 1. Restart Photoshop. If you are working with large files or photos, your computer has to store a lot of data in RAM. This includes every file in its history, plus whatever else Photoshop needs to keep things running. All of this could add up to quite a few megabytes. If you've hit Photoshop open for a while, things can just get a bit caught up. The simplest fix is to just close and reopen the app. Restarting your computer might also work. Especially if a lot of other apps are running in the background or you haven't restarted in a while. Photoshop's performance is impacted by whatever's going on in the background. Fix 2. Update Photoshop to the latest version. If Photoshop continues to run slow or crash after you restart it, things get a bit trickier. The first step for fixing recurring problems is to make sure you're running the latest version of Photoshop. Open Photoshop and go to Help Greater Than Updates to open the Creative Cloud app. If Photoshop won't open, you can also open the Creative Cloud app directly. Click Updates in the sidebar. Click the ellipsis at the top right, and then select Check for Updates. If any of your apps need to be updated, they'll be listed here along with an Update button. You can either update individual apps or click Update All at the top right. Fix 3. Reset Photoshop's Preferences. If Photoshop isn't behaving as expected, it could be as simple as a misconfigured preference in some obscure dialog box. In order to fix this problem, you can just restore Photoshop to its default state. To do so, open Photoshop and press Ctrl and K on your keyboard. Click on Reset Preferences on Quit in the General tab and press OK to confirm. Press OK to close the Preferences window. Restart Photoshop. Fix 4. Disable third-party plugins. Third-party plugins are a common cause of crashes, especially if they haven't been updated to work with the latest version of Photoshop. To check if one of these is causing your problems, open Photoshop and press Shift. When you're asked if you want to skip loading optional and third-party plugins, click Yes. Use Photoshop and see if the problem still occurs. If it doesn't, the issue was caused by one of the plugins you've installed. Update them all to the latest version. If that doesn't work, uninstall plugins one by one until it fixes the issue. Fix 5. Tweak Photoshop's performance settings. To get the snappiest performance from Photoshop, you can increase the amount of system resources it has access to. This won't fix any crashes, but it can speed up general work and some specific tools. On a PC, go to Edit Greater Than Preferences Greater Than Performance. There are three sets of settings here. Memory usage. Control the maximum amount of RAM Photoshop can use. If you're on a low-end machine, increasing this will make Photoshop run faster. Graphics processor settings. Check the Use Graphics Processor option to enable Photoshop to use it, as well as the CPU. Under Advanced Settings, you can select one of three levels, Basic, Normal, or Advanced which increase the workload put on the GPU. Start with Advanced and, if you have any issues, dial it back to Normal or Basic. Similarly, you can check the Use Opinco option if your graphics card supports it. Although this will only speed up a few features, like the Blur Gallery, History and Cache. These determine how much information Photoshop stores in RAM. The three Optimize buttons take into account your system configuration. Select the one that's most appropriate for the kind of work you do. You can also manually configure the history state, how many undos you get, cache levels, and cache tile size. 
increasing the cache levels and using smaller cache tiles will speed up moving and zooming in a document, but it will take longer to open. Afterward, you'll need to restart Photoshop before your changes will take effect. Fix 6. Upgrade your computer. Photoshop is optimized to run on low-end machines, so the minimum system requirements are pretty basic, a 2GHZ Intel RAM processor and 2GB of RAM.